Let's go back to that little place. You've been in love with Emily since the third grade. Look, I licked a leprechaun. Yeah, then she moved away. And I haven't seen her since. Emily? Was she really that good, or was she Ethan's Emily version of good? She's still perfect. Mothers and fathers hire Ethan to break up their children with boyfriends and girlfriends that they don't like. I just want her to be with Thomas. Emily? Nice to see you. All my life I've dreamed of myself with this girl. Now it's literally my job to break up her relationship. What's the problem? I'm glad you're back. Yeah, me too. Feels like home. Sometimes you're lucky enough to get a second chance with the right one. So, why jazz? Jazz doesn't shy away from the hard stuff, but it also makes you feel better about the sad stuff. You're never gonna find a girl as perfect as Emily. I'm in love. So, what are you doing for a living? Can you get rid of my daughter's boyfriend? They've got to be broken up. He's a matchbreaker! I take dysfunctional systems and disassemble them for diagnosis. Hey guys, do you want to see the Matchbreaker in theaters? We partnered with Tug to make that possible. That's right. You can host a screening in a theater near you. If you get enough friends to pre-order tickets, then it'll play. So sign up for Tug now. Do it. So are you a big movie fan? Well, I've got some interesting movie facts for you. Did you know that over 90% of American movies made before 1929 are lost? No copies are known to exist. Now that's a big shame. Okay, now, think about the movie The Godfather. It's all about the Mafia, no? Well, the word Mafia is never mentioned in the film because the actual Mafia demanded it. This next one is really interesting. Did you know that Pulp Fiction, uh, Forrest Gump, the Shawshank Redemption and the re-release of Jurassic Park were all in theaters at the same time in October of 1994? Now, that would have been a hard choice uh, of what to watch or you would have had a busy month at the cinema. The first one I would have seen was Pulp Fiction. What about you? Which one of these was or still is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.